Hey, so we are on chapter three of Lola Levine, the drama queen. Um, chapter two yesterday we read, it was about Lola. She found out her surprise from her teacher, Miss Garcia. Um, they were getting a new teacher, a drama teacher, and they're gonna get to do a play at the end of the year. Um, and they did a few exercises with the new drama teacher and her name is Miss Tinkle. So now we're gonna read chapter three, Sizzle Pop. On Friday, we have drama class again, and Miss Tinkle has us do even more exercises. She explains that we will be mirroring another person. Unfortunately, Alyssa is my other person, and she's got a big frown on her face. Remember, Miss Tinkle says, one of you is the mirror and one of you is the person, and the mirror has to reflect what the person is doing. You're the mirror, Lola. Alyssa says, I'm the person. Then she flips her hair, so I do too. But I don't have nearly as much hair to flip. Are you making fun of me? She grumbles. No, I'm mirroring you, I say. She raises her arm, so I raise my arm. She moves her feet, and I try to move my feet in the same way. But I'm bored, so I do a little jump and a spin. Lola Levine, you are so weird. Alyssa says with her hands on her hips. I'm not weird. I'm dramatic. I say it with my hands on my hips just like hers. I think of the definition in my mom's dictionary. I attract attention. Yeah, because you're weird and loud too. I'm going to be an actress when I grow up. She says stomping her foot. I stomp my foot too. Well, Maybe I'll be an actress too, I say, raising my voice. My middle name means star, you know. Just then, Miss Tinkle raises her arms and says, Stop! It's time for our next activity. Everyone lie down on the floor. I'm happy the mirror game is done, and I go lie down next to Josh. Now, students, this is called the popcorn game. I want everyone to pretend they're popping kernels and the floor is a great big pan filled with oil. Yuck, I whisper to Josh. Lola, pay attention, Miss Tinkle says. I guess I have a loud whisper. Now, students, Miss Tinkle says, imagine the pan is getting sizzling hot. Ah, I'm burning up, I scream, because I want Miss Tinkle to know I'm good at acting. Please, no screaming, Lola. You'll scare the kindergartners next door, Miss Tinkle says. Ben is in kindergarten, and it would take more than a few screams to scare him, I think. Improvise, Miss Tinkle says. You are popcorn kernels. What do you do? Alyssa jumps up and claps her hands. That's right, Alyssa, Miss Tinkle says. You pop. Well done. Soon, everyone starts to jump and pop and clap and it does sound pretty cool. I wish I would have thought of popping. I'm happy when the bell rings and drama class is over. I go to Josh's house after school. Josh and I have lots of fun playing soccer in his backyard, but we have to be extra careful not to smush the plants in Josh's mom's vegetable garden. Lola, Josh says, can you wave like wheat while dribbling a soccer ball? No, I say, but I can buzz like a bee. Bzzz. We try to get Josh's cat, Milo, to play soccer with us, but he'd rather nap in the sun. Guess what, Lola? Josh, Josh asks between soccer juggles. What, I say. I'm really excited about the class play, he says. It will be fun, I say. I'm secretly hoping to be the star. After a while, we got hungry and hot and went inside for a snack. Would you like something salty or something sweet? Principal Blot asks us. Salty, Josh says. Sweet, I say. Josh gets celery sticks sprinkled with salt and I get carrots. I have to admit they are pretty good carrots, so I tell Principal Blot that very thing. These are the sweetest carrots I've ever tasted, Principal Blot. I mean, Josh's mom, I say. You think so? She replies, yes. Can I have some more? I ask, and then remember to add please.
Of course, I grow them in my own garden, she says. And then Principal Blot does something I've never seen her do. She smiles. All right, so that's all for chapter three. Tomorrow we will read chapter four of Lola Levine, the drama queen, and it's called Bubblegum Ice Cream. So hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.